three, two. Hello and welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. Here we have one of my favorites, the long-awaited cube roots of eight. A quick, fun, informal approach. So throughout this video, remember that this is informal and it does not have much mathematical vigor. So there's our expression, x cubed equals 8. And notice the roots is plural, meaning there's more than one cube root of 8. And beneath is our diagram of what's called the complex coordinate plane. I decided to call the horizontal axis uh, the a, the plus a, and the minus a, instead of the usual x's. And here, a perpendicular up and down is plus bi and minus bi, which is uh, so-called imaginary numbers, but they're just as real as real numbers, and that's another matter. Anyhow, the cube roots of 8. One of the roots, as like, everybody knows, is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So I'm able to plot one point, which I called a, at 2 comma 0. So the a value is 2, and 2 is just a plain old uh, real number. So just 2 comma 0. And I'm claiming, again, this is informal, not much rigor here that the circle is radius 2 and it's centered at the origin here where the a and the b axes, uh, inter the bi axes intersect and I'm claiming that triangle ABC is equilateral and it's inscribed within the circle also with its center at the origin okay so far so good we have a root of cube root of 8 2 comma 0 now we're going for some more informality. I'm stating that there's a theorem of triangle states that the center of the triangle will be twice as far from the vertex as it is from the nearest side. So this radius is 2. So I'm going to be claiming that from this intersection to this uh, point here, right, where I'm drawing my marker, has a length of 1. So far, so good. This is also uh, what's called a median, and it's also an angle bisector. Those are more things that just taken informally, and take my word for it, because it's just like a casual, comfortable, living room approach to this fascinating low problem. So just make yourselves comfy in your living room sofas. All right, continuing. Now, less informal is the fact that this circle, all radii are equal. I'm just going to draw a little dotted line up to here. The dotted line has length of, you guessed it, 2. And that this dotted line here has a length of, you guessed it, 2. And for uh, those of you who have uh, seen the uh, geometry of certain triangles uh, before, you'll probably recognize this right away as the classic 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Uh, and how do we know that could be so? Well, we have a perpendicular line here. I'm claiming this is equilateral, so that uh, this side and this side have the same length, and this distance and the distance from C to uh, P here, and then from P to B here are equal. And I'm just going to draw a little hash marks to show their equality. Again, it's informal. So, continuing from there with that non rigorous proof, we have by the Pythagorean theorem, 1 squared plus this side squared, little question mark, equals 2 squared. And since this distance is 1, the a value is going to be a negative 1 over here. So this point P is going to have a negative 1. I probably should have showed that earlier, but I'm just thinking of it now. Again, my thinking is informal also. <laughs> But anyhow, back to the question mark, how long is that? We have something a 1 squared plus something equals a 2 squared. So uh, this is going to turn out to be square root of 3. Using a the Pythagorean theorem, because uh, 1 squared plus uh, this, uh, this squared, the square root of 3 squared is just 3. And sure enough, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 4 is 2 squared. So over here, we have the negative 1. So we've got to go up square root of 3 units. So I think point B. What's our a value? Well, this line is vertical, more informality, so that's going to have a negative 1 for the a value, and that's going to be square root of 3. And down below, in fact, that's going to even turn out to be a plus square root of 3, and down below, looks like we have what's called a conjugate, and that's another video altogether. 
take my word for it, this point C is going to have negative 1 and square root of 3 again, this time minus, those are going beneath the horizontal line, going into the realm of the negative bi numbers, so I'm claiming that uh, negative 1 plus uh, square root of 3 i, uh, this is a bi plane, remember, so that has to have an i there, and so does this, is uh, another root of the cube root of 8, and finally the negative 1 minus the square root of 3 times i. Notice that the i is outside the radical. We're taking just the square root of 3 and multiplying it by i, and that's being added on to the minus 1. So that completes my little informal demonstration. I made a number of assumptions, and you are free to prove them uh, mathematically uh, on your own. And thanks for viewing.